Hi, this is BIMGeek. In today's video, I'm going to share a quick tip on how to assign an instance parameter to stacked walls in Revit. So by default, stacked walls doesn't allow us to assign an instance parameter to them. But basic walls, they do. So the workaround that I'm going to show you will allow us to assign an instance parameter and a value to the stacked walls in Revit. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a project parameter. Let's click on project parameters, click on add. And then let's give it a name. For instance, the parameter that I'm going to create will control the contractors of these walls. So I'm going to say contractor. It's going to be an instance parameter. Type of parameter will be text and it's going to be grouped under text and category will be walls. Let's click OK and OK. So I have a basic wall in here and if I select it, as you see, it has the contractor parameter and I'm going to say this is going to be contractor number two. Let's select this stacked wall and let's say this stacked wall will be assigned to contractor number one. But as you can see, we don't have the contractor parameter available in here. So the workaround is, let's convert this stacked wall into a basic wall first. Now the contractor parameter is available in here. Then I'm going to say this wall will be assigned to contractor number one. And then I'm going to convert this back into a stacked wall. And as you can see, the contractor instance parameter is still available in here. So let's confirm whether this works or not. So I'm just going to go to die roots and one filter. And then I'm going to say in my model, in the walls category, look for instance parameters and the contractor parameter and find walls that their contractor parameter value equals to C01. And then if I click on select, as you can see, it has selected the stacked wall. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.